what you guys can see here is you can see how well we can see the the you may need to speak. Yeah, hold on. So you you can see how well we can see all the soft tissue structures, and I'll, I'll go through structures structure a, a little bit. So just so everyone here knows, so this is her her bone on one side of her wrist. This is her artery. This is the nerve here, and then you can actually see the this is the median nerve that gets swollen. So you, one way that you can actually diagnose carpal tunnel is you just um, can actually. Uh, in addition to having a good history and a good physical exam, you just press, uh, uh, you can look at that nerve, and I told you the nerve gets swollen and big when it gets pinched. So you just go here, and then you and you just circle around the nerve, to see if it's swollen, and then you can see that the you know, it doesn't have carpal tunnel at six millimeters. So we know how many millimeters the nerve is swollen if the person has carpal tunnel. We can also see um, how that nerve moves. So these are her tendons here. So you want to move your hand, Nikita? So we can see what is, what is the things that are causing the nerve to be pinched and swollen. So you want to move your fingers? And so these tendons are just some examples of things that we can see on her ultrasound. So we can look at tendons. We can look at nerves. We can diagnose if they have carpal tunnel. And we can do that in the office, which is really nice. And using really advanced machines like this, we can see just as well as an MRI. Oh, that's a little bit. So here's that nerve. Here's that artery. And so we can actually see the, a lot of structures under ultrasound. We can diagnose tendonitis. We can diagnose the nerve if it's injured. We can do procedures to avoid the artery and the nerve, which are very close. And, so, and we can actually make sure that we get a really good uh, injection or procedure done accurately so they can have the most effective treatment. That's just an example of ultrasound and what an experience of someone coming in for carpal tunnel syndrome would have at WSMI. Any other questions? Can you say a little bit more about um, which of these procedures might be covered by insurance? Yeah, so um, uh, a lot of the procedures are covered by insurance. Oh, sorry. Uh, the question was which procedures are covered by insurance. So a lot of the so the diagnostic ultrasound is always covered by insurance. It's significantly cheaper than like an MRI. Um, it's just uh, included uh, after your copay for your office visit. A lot of the procedures are covered by insurance. Um, and you might not have to pay anything. Depending on your insurance, you might have to pay for some of the devices. Um, and then the regenerative medicine treatments are not covered by insurance. And those are, are out-of-pocket costs. They can go uh, part of your um, uh, FSA, depending on what 